So we will see now work products and documents. Here you will be available with WPS work products and then DOCS documents. So this you can able to see in WBS details and also you can able to see in activities. So in activities also we have WPS and docs, which means work products and documents. So the work products and documents feature enables you to catalog and track all project related documents and deliverables. This includes guidelines, procedures, or standards, plans, design templates, uh, some worksheets, and also all types of project deliverables. Your work product or document can provide standards and guidelines for performing an activity's work. It can specifically like say something about the activity, how it works, something like that, or it can be formally identified as a project standard. If you have any standard for your project, you can specify in it. Your work product or document can also be activity output, such as testing plans and blueprints. So sometimes you will be having some blueprints for your activity or your project. Then you can able to uh, input in this WPS and documents that will be delivered to the end user or customer at the end of the project. So at the end of the project, when they are just uh, looking over this, then they can able to see the details in this uh, sector. So with the project management module, you can assign work products and documents to activities and also WBS. So activities and also WBS, we can able to assign our documents. So during a project's yearly planning stage, you can assign a work product or document to WBS element. So later you can able to go and assign uh, the same documents to the activities to, you can assign to one or more activities in your projects activities list. So you can able to click here and you can able to assign as well. So normally this uh, work products and documents feature enables you to maintain general information about project document. Uh, you can able to input like revision date, location and author. So the actual document files can be stored on a network file server, configuration management system or a website uh, depending on the project requirements. You can specify a public or private location for the document files. So we will see how to like create the WPS and documents in Primavera. For that I'm just going for project WPS and docs. And here we have, so you can specifically go for this add button. Then you can name like a document one and the reference number 1001 and the status you can put approved or completed or in progress not started or on hold or under review you can put under review if you want and the document category so document category you can able to select from here so this thing we also can uh, able to create our own categories like for that you need to go for admin and then admin categories and here you can go for document category. There you can able to add your own. For example, uh, new construction is my uh, new category and I'm just going to shift down. So, and then I'm just going to close. Now here you can able to select that new, new construction. So double click or you can able to select and you can put this one. So like this, you can able to select the category that you can also create your own categories. So from admin, admin category, and then you can go for, for document category and you can able to add. And if you don't want, you can delete, you can shift up, you can go for shift down, etc. Now here we also have general title and the version. You can able to specify the version number if you want. It's just the input. Anyway, here I'm just going for first version and uh, I'm just going for revision date as um, I'm going for 10. I'm going to select an author. I'm just going to put GM like that general manager or something whoever who writes this or whoever who responsible for this and you can just go for uh, status and then you can go for deliverable. So deliverable in the sense you can able to like uh, see the icon over here and you can able to use in your project by filtering a deliverable and I'm just going for description and you can able to modify the description. So this project going to start on next month like that and you can put OK and then you can go for files. If you have any specific file, you can specify here. You can go for selecting the files.
So I'm just going for this file and I'm just going to put open and now you can able to launch also when you click launch it will come so whatever the file it will open so the people who newly entering into this project they will be completely knowing about the project by using this uh, uh, platform and you can go for assignments you can go for assigning activity or you can assign WBS I'm just going to assign WBS and I'm just going for project and then I'm going to assign and you can specify the work product or not now I'm just going for WBS now you can able to see here we, we have that automatically coming and you can go for details and you can see the details here and if you want you can able to launch that everything it will be available here as well and you can go for assign and here we have only create a document one and uh, here if you want to like uh, remove you can able to remove as well so like this you can able to input like uh, here I am just going for uh, WPS and docs here you can go for private document or columns default version customize table font and row and even you can go by filter by all WPS documents or only deliverables for example I am just going to add another one and we have a uh, two uh, documents now now you have many so like this you can just go for filter by deliverable so it will be like a uh, easy for filter so that's why we have that icon for deliverable that you can able to tick from here if you I'm just going for filter by all WPS documents I'm just going to make this as deliverable now I'm just going back so it is just for filtering purpose and you can able to go for assignments you can go to assign to activity something like this so that once you are going back to the activity you can able to see the document is linked now to that particular activity and here it is like not having any category so you can specify the category if you want for templates something like that and it is like approved like that and then 1002 now if you are going back to the activities you can able to see the same thing here and you can go for details and you can able to so like this you can able to add your like a projects work products and documents so it will be useful for the uh, our clients so that they will be knowing all uh, they will be studying all our documents linked to our projects.